Sonic put his clothes on really fast and ran out of his room because he is fast. No time for breakfast, said Sonic as he ran past Sonic's mom. He will regret this, said Sonic's mom, leering at him from the kitchen stove, wearing aprons and oven mitts on her hands. Sonic did not care. He was late. Sonic ran outside and ran to the bus stop, where people were getting on the bus. Tails! Knuckles! Wait for me! said Sonic as he ran towards the bus. Hey, Knuckles, it's Sonic, said Tails to Knuckles at the bus stop. Oh, he's late, said Sonic, said Knuckles to Tails before getting on the bus. Sonic ran so fast to the bus, and he got on the bus after Tails. Just in time, said Sonic, huffing and puffing like he was doing the Cupid shuffle for the first time. Sonic sat down next to Tails, and Knuckles sat behind them, taking up both seats. I'm so bad, said Knuckles, laughing because he sat where two people could sit. Knuckles did this every day, and no one bothered him, but they all knew it was against the rules of both man and God. The bus started and drove at the school and parked, and they got out. We're at school now, said Tails. It's time to go to class. Sonic was also at school, so he went to his first class of the day, English class. Sonic did not like English very much, but he did not like any class very much that was not about running and going fast, which is what Sonic does best. Sonic got to his class and sat down in his seat. It's journal day, said Sonic's English teacher, Mrs. Lesson. Mrs. Lesson was tall and white and had gray hair, and she was not pretty. Take out your journals and put them in a pile, and I will read one of your entries to the class. Sonic took out his blue journal and ran to the front quickly, and put his journal on her desk, and ran back to his desk, all with his head down and not talking or looking at anyone. Sonic was so fast that he did it first. Everyone else did it afterwards, and slower. Mrs. Lesson grabbed a journal from the pile, and Sonic knew it was his because it looked just like Sonic's journal. Sonic knew this because he had written in it so many times, and it was crazy. Mrs. Lesson opened to a totally random page, and it was the worst page she could have picked. She began to read. Dear journal, I called the... Doctor, today about a problem? I have a problem with my balls. They are itchy, and it is difficult to sit still with them because they are so itchy. I have to back up against stucco surfaces and rub them up and down on them to relieve the itchiness. No creams have worked. Creams only make my balls sweat smell like the breath of a thoroughbred, and I think Amy, my girlfriend, noticed. I hope my doctor calls Love, Sonic. Oh no, stop reading, said Sonic, but he reacted too late because it was already read, all of it. Everyone in the class laughed, and Sonic felt like an idiot asshole because now everyone knows all about his ball problems. Sonic felt his rage build up inside him like a pool of lava in the volcano. Stop laughing at me! Don't tell anyone, shouted Sonic, but everyone was laughing so loud that they did not hear him, and Sonic was just so embarrassed and mad and sad, but more embarrassed, so he ran out of the class fast. Sonic ran to his locker and opened it and screamed into it. He screamed, This sucks! And curse words, too. What is... No, oh, sorry. What's the problem? Said Tails. Are you mad? Said Tails. Sonic was ma- Sonic was mad, so he nodded. <laughs> you should tell everyone that it is okay to have problems with your balls, and that they probably have problems that they don't want everybody to know about, too, so stop laughing at me. Sonic thought Tails was right, because Tails was smart. Knuckles was there, too, so he said, Sonic, what's this I heard about you having problem with your penis and balls? Sonic was so mad again, he punched Knuckles and ran away quick. Where Knuckle, where, sorry, where Sonic ran to was his next class. It is now second period, so it was okay. And that class was history class. Sonic did not care about history class. Hey, Amy, said Sonic. 
Check me out. And Sonic did a dance move. Wow, cool. Let's kiss, said Amy. And Sonic and Amy kissed right there in the class. And some of the other people in the class watched. But the teacher wasn't there yet, so they didn't get into trouble. And who was going to tell Sonic he can't kiss his girlfriend in class? Amy kissed Sonic so hard that he was thinking, let's have sex. But he didn't say it, because the teacher would show up by the time they started to have sex in history class. Sonic kissed back really hard, and it was sexy to everyone. The teacher arrived, and they did class, but Sonic just looked at Amy the whole time, who was sitting next to Rogue. Is it Rogue? It's spelled Rouge here. Is it Rouge? Is it always Rouge? Ah, I'm dumb. Amy and Rouge talked, and they looked at Sonic sometimes and laughed, and Sonic thought Amy was telling her about how awesome Sonic kissed her, but it was not. Rouge was telling Amy about Sonic's gay ball problems, and Amy was Sonic's girlfriend, but she thought it was just the funniest thing ever. Class ended, and Sonic went to Amy quick and did not stop on the way. Hey, Amy, why do you go telling Rouge about how hard we kiss, smiley face, said Sonic with a smile on his face that meant he did not care that Amy did this and really wanted her to because it made him look cooler. Actually, Rouge was telling me about the problems with your balls and penis and butthole that everyone found out about in your English class. Wow, was Sonic surprised. He did not know what to say. That was chapter one of 25. I'm never reading any more of this again. Fuck.